What is a quote or saying that just pisses you the f*** off? It was meant to be. Find a job you like and you won't have to work a day in your life. No, you've just turned your hobby into your work and now you can't relax while doing said hobby. Congrats smartass. The smartass is me. Do not be me. Shoot for the moon. Even if you miss you'll land among the stars. I didn't go to space camp for seven years to sit silently while some dingbat butchers astronomy. Depending on who says it. Sometimes, hello, is enough. Army wife. Hardest job in the army every time I see this on someone's minivan I want to scream. I am a military wife that also has my own career. However, the only people I see with this quote on their car or on a t-shirt is the stay-at-home dependipotamus that complains about everything, feels entitled to everything, but doesn't contribute to anything. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. If you love something set it free. If it comes back it's yours. If not, it was never meant to be. Gross Point Blank has the antidote for this shit in it. If you love something, set it free. If it comes back, it's probably broken. Just be you. This doesn't help me at all and does not help me when I ask how to best prepare for an interview. Hard work equals success. Yeah, I guess those people working two jobs just to get by aren't working hard enough you entitled fuckstain. Not my monkeys. Not my circus. Not because of the quote itself but because a girl I hated used to say it all the time. Not my chair. Not my problem. We're going to be working mandatory Saturdays. Me. Forget something important. Them. Well, if you forgot it isn't important. F*** that. Everything happens for a reason, though technically correct. Actions have consequences it is mostly used for people to justify something negative happening in someone's life to offer reassurance that a higher power has some elaborate plan. You work and hard or hardly work and whenever you're doing anything physical and clearly not having fun, someone pipes up and says you're having fun yet. I want to slap them. He, she is bullying, teasing you because they like you. Build a bridge. And get over it and cry me a river bother me more just because anyone who uses it use it out of context every time. For all intensive purposes. I could care less. If your friend jumped off a cliff, would you follow them? I have a quote in my language, which basically translates to the word of the old, is a word to behold, now that is already enough to mildly annoy me, but people in where I come from use it so much that I genuinely hate it, they basically use it to brainwash kids into believing anyone older than them. What language is that? Are you a spawn of Sitihalu? We work hard, we play hard, it almost always means the former and rarely the latter. We demand 70-hour weeks from you with garbage benefits, but we have a ping-pong table in the break room. You could have had it worse doesn't mean I can't complain. Sorry not sorry, this is just saying you meant to do it and don't care if people get upset. Your bullies will leave you alone if you ignore them, they do it because they love you and want the best for you, both of them, absolute horse crap. Both of them can be true, although very rarely on the first one. However, the reason they piss me off isn't those cases where, for example, a parent has a curfew on their kid and does it because they know the outside world is dangerous. These quotes make me mad because of the way they were used towards me and people I know. The first one, where most adults don't ever deal with bullies and tell you to ignore them, no matter what they do. The second one, where so many parents, family members, etc. use it to justify their abuse. Like a mom telling their daughter they beat them because they love them, when that's not true, because abuse isn't love. If you have time to lean you have time to clean. For all the restaurant folks out there, this is my most hated among many. There are starving children in Africa. I hear people say it all the time when others are complaining about the first world problems. Just because someone else has it worse doesn't mean your feelings aren't valid. Punch them in the arm, then remind them there are gunshot victims, so they can't complain. Happy wife. Happy life. Piss off. We both need to be happy. Happy spouse. Happy house. Happy girl. Happy world. Happy partner. Happy future. Happy lover. But stuff sooner. Smart casual. I hate hate when this is the dress code.
Blame Susan in accounting who showed up in ripped jeans with a huge hole in the ass. God has a plan I hate that one with an undying passion. You can't eat, drink, use that. It's got asterisk chemicals. Literally everything we eat and drink and wash our hair and bodies with is made out of chemicals. Water is a chemical. It's all natural. So is arsenic. God will never give you anything you can't handle. Dude f off and read an actual Bible story. If this is the same God you're talking about then the whole deal is God always gives people more than they can handle. Otherwise why would we even need God? Girls will be girls. Justification for being a shitty human being because of their genetic makeup. No thank you. Do as I say, not as I do. Doesn't that just make them hypocrites? I could care less. It's I couldn't care less. The latter denotes the fact that you care so little about something that is it actually impossible for you to lessen your care for it. The former merely states that you could care less than you do which could be quite a substantial amount. Just stop worrying. Oh it's lucky you said that. Janice. I'm fine now. Well I was raised that way. Oh okay cool. Feel free to join the rest of us in 2020 at your convenience. If I can do it. You can do it. I know they are meant to be words of encouragement. And said in the best of intentions. However, hearing it for some reason causes me anxiety. It makes me feel like whatever I'm trying to do at the time should be very easy to accomplish. Boys never cry. Time heals all wounds. I'm old enough to confirm this is false. They should have worked harder. Guess what? Life and society aren't a perfect meritocracy. As a mother, quote, as a mother, I can confirm that cream pies have consequences. That's the way we have always done it. So that's the way we do it. Gets my blood boiling. Basically saying we've done it wrong for years so we continue to do so because of tradition. The customer is always right. I hate this with a fury of a thousand suns going off at the same time because not all of them are right and most of them are either too stupid or too f entitled to admit their mistakes. If I had a dollar for every time they pulled off this kind of stupid shit, I would be rich years ago. Whoever came up with that quote should be in the deepest part of hell and may they suffer for all eternity. Whenever I heard that phrase being uttered, I would lose it but I will calmly explain that they can't buy this specific medicine without a prescription and the dangers of self-medication without a proper diagnosis from a doctor I might add of using certain medicines that could potentially harm them in the long run and I get frustrated that these kind of people are going to endanger themselves with that kind of stunt. But things like wanting to buy a generic version of that medicine instead of a branded name version to save money or wanted to put the dosage instructions of that medicine on its container, I would do it in a heartbeat. It's always in the last place you look. Well, of course it f is. Why would you find what you're looking for and then keep looking for it? If you can't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. You know, I never see the people who say this show me the best. They just act like all the time. Because that's how we've always done it. Companies that use this excuse are just asking for trouble. That's true. But to be fair, that's how we've always done it. I have a chronic illness, pain but look mostly healthy at first glance and and hear this a lot from people who just don't get it. You wouldn't say that to someone with a broken leg, would you? No matter how hard you try to do something mentally, sometimes you just can't physically. You can be anything you want to be. You can't. Kevin Hart can't join the NBA as a professional player. The big show will never win American Ninja Warrior. I will never be black. Not with that attitude. I'm just not a computer person. You're an office worker in 2020. Karen. Not knowing where the f bold button is in Word doesn't make you not a computer person it makes you incompetent. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Or mentally shattered. Looks like someone's got a case of the Mondays. I believe you'd get your ass kicked for saying something like that. You know my name but not my story. Not true. I'm terrible with names. So I probably don't even know that. Life is too short to be sad. Die. Great minds think alike, because it continues. But fools rarely differ. Much better line in my book. Assume makes an ass out of you and me.
been listening to a lot of Stephen King audiobooks and he uses that phrase in every single one. In one of them one character even compliments the other for how clever the phrase is. No it isn't Stephen. F*** off with that. It doesn't need to be in every single book.